Alright guys, welcome to the video on how to set up Gears of War. I'll show you which files you'll need and how to start it up for the first time uh, to do the Windows Live update without it crashing on you. Sometimes the software itself has a tendency to lock up or crash uh, if you don't launch it correctly and I'll show you the way uh, to launch it pretty much. So next clip that you'll see would be pretty much me doing the work for you. Alright guys, I just finished up the install and here are pretty much the files that you will need. One of them you can get from Microsoft. Uh, actually both of those you can get from Microsoft. And the Gears TU you can get of course from the Gears of War website as a patch. Uh, and pretty much let me go ahead and run both all three files right now. And pretty much all it's doing is just patching it up. Alright, and you have to run them in that, this specific order. Then you're going to run... Actually, hold on just one sec. As you can see right here, it shows you uh, that pretty much the update has been applied, and then there's a new gaming experience, blah, 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 blah. Uh, just close that out. It pretty much will launch the game and uh, if you click play. Uh, the second file is the uh, x86 uh, Visual C++ uh, redistributive package from Microsoft. Go ahead and install that too. This one's going to take a little lo a little longer than the Gears of uh, Patch. Alright guys, I just did finish the redistributed package. Now I'm going to run the live uh, pretty much patch updater for it. And it's pretty much, you can get this also from Microsoft. And you just install this. this is going to take also a little while, so I'll go ahead and pause the video and start it when it's finished. Alright, it just finished. It should take maybe 20 seconds to install, just depending on how fast your machine is. Okay, this next step, what you have to do is you have to go to my computer, and then you have to pretty much find the actual file. So you go to Program Files, uh, I created one that says Epic Games and then Gears of War. And then as you can see, here's pretty much the entire uh, file folder. Look for uh, a file that's going to be, I believe, in binaries. And right there where it says Startup, just double click it. I'm going to close this down for you. And it'll pretty much come up with the same screen. Uh, it just pretty much, if you want to participate in a gaming experience from Gears of War, uh, it'll send errors and stuff like that, but I personally don't care. So just a few more minutes. Yeah, first time when you launch it, it'll take just a little longer. But as you can see, it's installed. And as you can see, I haven't set the resolution yet, so it's actually making it really kind of big. As you can see, let me go ahead and uh, set the resolution real quick. All 
Alright guys, once you get everything set up, uh, when you retrieve your account, you're going to have to type in the key that's provided with the uh, Gears of War. So pretty much you type it in, you type your username, your password, and then it'll have to download your user profile. Next, it'll ask you for an update, and pretty much what that'll do, it'll give you the new user interface that comes with the new uh, games for Windows uh, games, pretty much. And it'll just take a little while to download it. Uh, next video that I'll post after this would be pretty much uh, my machine running Gears of War. And this should pretty much finalize the install process. Uh, and if you guys have any issues, just go ahead and uh, shoot me a comment or email me or send me a message and I'll see what I can help you guys with. Alright guys, I just finished up the install. Uh, just to let you guys know, don't be afraid if it says that Gears of War has stopped working. That's just because it's doing an update and it stops the application immediately. Uh, in the background, it'll still start to un uh, install and all you have to do is just hit the little message to close the program and it'll just close it for you. And right now, I'll go ahead and uh, see how I do playing the game. So just give me a little while to set up the camera. And let me show you the new user interface. Uh, I can barely see it, but as you can see, it just looks a little different. It just says, Welcome to uh, the new ga uh, Games for Windows Live. And I don't want to participate. And let me just pause the video so I can type in my ID. Alright guys, I finished downloading it. It shows me pretty much, uh, just pretty much my name. And then friends and uh, my private chat and everything. So pretty much everything is set up almost the same like the new Xbox interface. But just a tad different to make it uh, look uh, and feel different than... Uh, the Xbox compared to the PC version. So pretty much, uh, I'm just gonna start it up. Uh, brand new campaign. Um, new campaign. I'll just start it on hardcore, and we'll see how this works. Hope you guys enjoy enjoyed the video. Um, and like I said again in my previous clip, if you guys have any issues with it, just send me an email and I'll uh, help you guys out anywhere I can. Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. We could get into a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. We're gonna go. What about the other prisoners? We can't just leave them here. They're gone. Hoffman pardoned everybody. Is that right? Welcome back to the army, soldier. Shit. Let's go. As you can see, the game is running pretty flawlessly. We've got two options. We can go back the way I came, through the guards' quarters. It takes time, but it's safe. Or we can go through the prison blocks and get right into the fight. Your choice. Let's take the prison blocks. I'm ready to kick some ass.